Police and local volunteers spent Sunday searching dozens of homes in this rundown Cleveland neighborhood looking for more possible victims, though none have been found. On Friday, they discovered the body of a woman in a garage and later, after a standoff, arrested a suspect. He's been named as Michael Madison, a registered sex offender who lived nearby. On Saturday, they uncovered the bodies of two more women, one in a backyard, another in a neighbouring basement. All were wrapped in plastic bags. We think they're all connected and, um, you know, hopefully that this will be it. You know, we're going to do the best we can to continue to look in all uh, this whole neighbourhood and see. The local mayor said Madison suggested he was influenced by a local serial killer. Anthony Sowell was sentenced to death two years ago after being convicted of killing 11 women whose remains were found in his Cleveland home. The city made headlines in another grim case in May when three women who vanished more than a decade ago were found alive in the home of Ariel Castro, just 10 miles from this latest crime scene. He faces multiple counts of kidnapping, rape and murder. Police haven't released the names of these three women and say it could take some time to identify them. Jane Little, BBC News, Washington.